Hi everybody and welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at the Chroma Z. This is by Inikin, Phil Busardo, and The Vaping Greek. Now this here was, it looks like a pod mod. It is a pod mod, but the greatest thing about this is that it was actually created for mouth to lung users. And then secondary is for people who like restrictive direct lung. That to me is definitely a huge pro. Now we have a lot of pod mods right now out on the market, but if you think about it, they're more geared towards direct lung vapors or people that like restrictive direct lung rather than really mouth to lung. So they're not really capable of the mouth to lung experience. And if so, you need to like, you know, add little things on the airflow or something like that. But this was actually created vice versa. This was created for mouth to lung and they added some re restrictive direct lung into it. So this little device here takes the Z coils. So this is of course the Chroma Z, it takes the Z coils. There are a total of seven Z coils that are out there right now. And any of the seven can be used with this device, which is great. Now, in addition, you can purchase a 510 adapter for it, but it would be a separate purchase, but there is also a 510 adapter for this device as well. Also, it has a 3000 milliamp hour internal battery, which I think is fantastic because hello, who doesn't like battery life, right? So 3000 milliamp hours is no, nothing to sneeze at. It does go up to a maximum of 40 watts, but it does have that smart wattage recognition. So that means that whatever coil that you're putting in there, it's going to guesstimate the range that that coil is good for, and it's not going to let you go past the max for that. So say for instance, you're using one of the coils and the max is 18 watts. It won't let you go past 18 watts because that coil is not okay to go past 18 watts. That to me is very important, especially for those of you out there that are newer to vaping and don't really understand recommended wattages that are on the coils or even during these reviews, you're like, what does that mean? 16 to 18 or 30 to 40. That's because the coil is only good within that range. If you go above, you can burn out the coil. Now, if you go under, that's fine, but anything over that maximum, you definitely don't ever wanna do that. So having smart wattage recognition literally takes all the guesswork out of it for you. So before I say anything more, and I might as well just do the review up here, let's go ahead and go down. I'm gonna show you everything that it comes with, and then we're gonna put it out together. I'm gonna show you everything about the device, and then we're gonna come back up. We're gonna vape on it, pros and cons. So let's go down and look at the Chroma Z by Inigan. Okay, so here we are with the Chroma Z kit by Inikin. This is a collaboration between Inikin, Phil Bussardo, and the Vaping Greek. And this is part of the platform series. This is the box that it comes in. I do have it in pink. On the back, you're going to get some kit contents right there. And then when you open up the box, you're going to get a quick start guide. This is just going to give you some information on how to um, use the device, what are its parts, where everything is, the coils that are included, and some other information. You're also going to be getting your warning and safety card. This does have a 90-day warranty, but right now, Inikin, if you're um, registering your devices online for the warranty, they're extending it, so they're doubling it, so that's great. You're going to get a type charging cable which is awesome so it does have 1.7 amp type c charging you're going to get three of these packets now um, they actually went to economically more friendly so everything that they're coming out with is either on paper or in cardboard so that it disintegrates a little bit easier and it's better for the environment so i do appreciate that they did that so you're going to get three packets here now this packet here is actually going to be your mouth to lung precision airflow ring, which we're going to go over when I get to that part. You're also going to get a 0.3 ohm resistance coil. This coil is going to be good from 30 to 40 watts. Here's the coil. This is a 0.3 ohm resistance coil. This is good between 30 to 40 watts, but is best at 35. And this is their new mesh coil. This was just added to their Z coil line, which is great. In addition to that, you're going to get this packet. Now, this packet here is going to be two additional drip tips that they're giving you. This is going to be a mouth to lung or a restrictive direct lung device. Sometimes you just need a different type of drip tip. So they're going to give you one with more of a wide bore, or they're going to give you one that's more like this, which is designed for more mouth to lung. So you're going to get a total of three drip tips. One's already installed in the pod, and then those two. And then, of course, you're going to get your device. This is the third drip tip. This is the one that's actually installed. Taking a look at the Chroma Z, it does say Inikin right here. On this side, it's going to say Chroma Z. 
Now, there's going to be two different variations. There's going to be one where it's actually got this um, smoother side with the leather or the fake leather side um, back part. Or you're going to be able to get one like this, which actually has that um, other style like this. And then this is going to feel like um, that rubbery feel to it. So you'll be able to get that. So it's either or, whichever one that you want. And they do come in two different styles. Now on here, you're going to have your fire button, which is basically your whole entire um, screen right here. From the top of the button to here is actually your fire button. You're going to have your up and your down wattage buttons, your USB type C charging port. And then you're going to have some air ventilation right there. And this right here is actually going to be your airflow adjustment. So you can adjust your airflow right from outside, right from here. On the bottom, it's going to tell you that this does have a 3000 milliamp hour internal battery, which it does. And then we've got our pod. Now this pod is going to be a little bit different than others. Um, first off, there are two magnets right there, which are two magnets right here. And then your pod actually fits right down there. Now, when you put it on, the back end is going to automatically click into place with the magnets, but you do have to make sure to push down on the front. Um, the reason for this is because they want to make sure that it's connected right. Your airflow is actually in here. It's on the inside of this part here. So you definitely need to make sure that that is clicked into place since that's your airflow hole right there. So very, very important, but that's what that looks like. Now on the bottom here, what you're going to see is this gold airflow ring. Now that third package had this in it. If you notice, this has three holes, but this one here, which is the additional one that they give you, which I think is great that they're providing it, only has one small hole. And that's because if you're wanting to use, it does come with two coils. If you're wanting to use the coils that come with it and you want it more restrictive, more mouth to lung, like really, really, really mouth to lung, you can actually change this out. And all you would have to do is just swap out this ring and put this on. Now this will work with either of the coils that are given to you. Now we do have a, a restrictive direct lung coil and a mouth to lung coil, but whichever one that you wanna do, if you wanna use this, you can do it, but it's more for the mouth to lung coils, to be honest with you. Now, if you're using this, there really isn't anything to do with this. I would just leave this fully wide open because this is already gonna be restricting it like really, really a lot. So that is what you can do there. Now to get into the coil, which by the way, this does hold 4.5 mils of e-liquid. To get into the coil, you're just gonna take the ring off and you pull out the coil like this. Now these are Z coils. There are seven total Z coils now with the new mesh one. So this coil right here is actually gonna be your 0.8 ohm resistant coil. And this one is gonna be good from 15 to 18 watts. And that's what that looks like. And this is a standard round wire coil. So you're gonna get the 0.8 ohm mouth to lung coil. And you're also gonna be getting the 0.3 ohm resistance direct lung or restrictive direct lung coil. So those are the two coils that you're going to be getting. I'm already vaping on um, the 0.8 ohm in the other kit. So I'm going to go ahead and install the 0.3 ohm here. And what you want to do for the first time is you want to prime up your coil. So to prime up the coil, what you're going to do, and I'm actually going to be using this um, decked by Zook. If you haven't seen my review for it, you got to take a look at it. Vanilla Blackberry Crumble, really, really good. I'm hooked. So all you need to do is just go ahead and wet the cotton that you see on the outside. You don't have to soak it, just wet a little bit there. And this will help the coil saturate a little bit faster so that you can use it faster. Now, whenever you have a new coil, you definitely want to wait about five to eight minutes just to make sure that it's fully saturated. And that way you won't burn out the coil too fast. So I'm just going to go ahead and install it into the pod now. If you notice, there's a flat edge here and a flat edge here, just like most of the platform series. Um, you're going to see that it's going to be um, the flat side. So you're going to make sure that it's flat side. Now it's in fully. You can see that there's no gap there. Now what you're going to do is take your airflow ring of choice. Now being that this I have the 0.3 ohm resistance coil in here, I'm actually going to put in the open airflow because I want full airflow with this coil because it's going to be like a direct lung. So that's what I want. Now, how do you fill it, you ask? Well, there's actually a fill port right here, right on the top of the cartridge. So when it's installed, you literally don't even have to take it out and you can see it pretty clearly. Um, it's a little grayed out, but it does show very clearly your e-liquid line. 
and that way you can see your e-liquid line. And all you need to do is just pull this off like this. If you run your finger through it, it's actually a little bit easier like that. And then you've got a very, very big fill port. And this again does hold 4.5 mils of e-liquid. And all you have to do is just go ahead and put your e-liquid in. Now with the TBD um, compliance version, it's only going to hold two mils of e-liquid, but for the rest of us, it is a 4.5 mil capacity. All you do is you fill it up. If you notice, nothing is coming out because they make the, the hole a little bit bigger. So while you're filling your e-liquid, there's also room for the air to escape so that it won't pull back. And there's literally no mess there. So that takes care of filling the pod. Now let's go ahead and go over the device. So we've already looked at everything on this device. So now what we need to do is actually the workings of the device. So to turn on the device, it is three clicks. One, two, three, we'll turn on the device. And there is the screen. Now the screen does look a little bit dim on camera. It is a little bit more um, able, you can see it a little bit better in person, but it's not too dim. So that is the screen right there. So right here, you're gonna have your battery indication, you're gonna have your wattage, you're gonna have seconds fired, the resistance of your coil, your puff counter, as well as your voltage when firing. And it will um, change once you're firing like that. It'll show your seconds and your voltage. Now, also, there are a couple things that you can do on this. If you click three times, it's gonna turn the device off, just like it turned on. Now, while it's off, if by chance you hit it and it's got like that little symbol, it says click three times, that's because it's turned off. One, two, three, we'll turn it on. And then another thing that you can do is if you press the up button and your fire button at the same time, this is actually gonna get you to like this menu here. It's gonna tell you where your battery level is. It's gonna tell you resistance. And this is where you can actually set reset your puffs. So if you change it like this, you can actually go ahead and clear it, press your fire button, and that will clear your puffs. And then you can always go back. And you're back to the main screen. Pressing the down button and the fire button, this is actually gonna lock your wattage. You're gonna see a little lock up here right there. So that means that you can't change your wattage, but you can still fire the device. To unlock it, you're gonna do the same thing, down and fire. Now, if you press your up and your down at the same time, this is actually gonna get you to your cutoffs. So you're gonna have your cutoff, which you can actually change by pressing your fire button. This will go um, all the way up to a total of 18 seconds and as low as 30. It'll go as low as three seconds. To select it, just press your fire button, go back in, press and hold your up and down. And the next one is gonna be your screen timeout. So if you choose screen, you press your fire button. This is where you can actually set it anywhere up to, I think it's three minutes, if I'm not mistaken. It can be set, like your screen can stay on. But remember when your screen's on, it is using battery. So I just wanna warn you about that. And then once you're where you wanna be, then you go ahead and press the fire button and it's selected again. Now, what you can do, th now this device does have smart wattage recognition. By that, I mean that it's gonna automatically select the wattage based off of your coil. So right now my coil is a 0.8 ohm resistance coil. So it automatically selects 16 watts because this is good between 15 to 18 watts. If I were to change this out and I'm going to use the 0.3 ohm resistance coil, it'll automatically change it to the within the resistance range of the coil that I'm putting on. Now, if you wanna change your wattage, what you're gonna have to do on any, pretty much all Anakin devices is it's basically, you won't be able to change anything just by touching it. But if you want to, you can press the up or the down button, um, long press it, and it will actually get it to blink. Once it's blinking, then you can actually change your wattage. Now this does go from six watts to 40 watts. It does round robin, and that's only with the higher wattage coil in it. If it's got any of the mouth to lung coils, it will not go up to the full 40 watts because of the fact that the coils are not recommended for that. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the Chroma Z pod mod. Go ahead and go on top. We're gonna take a look at it. We're gonna vape on it and pros and cons. Here we are back on top with the Chroma Z by Anakin, Phil Brasardo, and the Vaping Greek. Before anything, I'm gonna go ahead and have a vape and then we're gonna talk more about it. Now in here currently, I do have the 0.3 ohm resistance. To me, it's more of a direct lung coil. So I'm gonna go ahead and have a vape and then we're gonna talk more about it. I do have the airflow all the way open and I do have the full airflow ring, the one that's got the three holes on it. So let's go ahead and have a vape.
The flavor on these coils, I have to tell you, I don't know if you've heard it in my other reviews. These Z coils, they are so flavorful. I could just sit here and vape this all day. Absolutely amazing. Do you see the cloud production? That's what this little thing, it's absolutely amazing. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and vape the other one, which is the 0.8 ohm resistance coil. This one, I have it set where I like it with the outside, but it's still got the three rings on it. So, or the, the ring with the three holes on it. It's still got that regular one on it. I didn't put the mouth to lung on it, but I did tone it down to be more mouth to lung by the airflow on the outside. So, and I did change the drip tip only because I like it because it's funky. <laughs> Not because it does anything, but because of the shape of it. So let's go ahead and have a vape of that one. Absolutely amazing mouth to lung. Now, I won't lie to you. It works almost like a direct lung when you have it all the way open. Airflow all the way open. That, to me, is a restrictive direct lung. It's not necessarily a mouth to lung. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this all the way open and I'm going to take off that ring and I'm going to put on the really, really restrictive one little hole ring. Just change it out. That's all you have to, I mean, how easy is this? Okay. Now again, I have this airflow fully open because I'm restricting it from here. So restricting it from here too, you won't be able to get any airflow whatsoever. So there we go. Have it in there and I've got it fully wide open. I've got it at 16 watts and let's have a vape. You saw the fish face, right? <laughs> the fish face will tell you that it's super, super restrictive that way. And of course, you're not going to be able to open it any further. But this is definitely a perfect like cigarette type of vape. This is like that cigarette pull. So if you're like transitioning from smoking to vaping, this would be the ring that I would recommend for you because of the fact that it's going to give you that same, that same vibe. You know what I mean? Really, really nice, and still it's got great cloud production. Personally, I just like the um, the mouth to lung coil with the regular ring on it, the regular open ring, and it cut down on the outside. I feel like I have a little bit more play when I do it that way rather than to have to take off the whole ring. So if I'm out somewhere and I want, you know, hey, let me go ahead and open it up a little bit, I can't really do it if I have the other ring on it. So for me, I feel like being that this cuts it all the way down to where it's so restrictive already, I don't feel like that extra ring is necessary, but I'm glad that they did provide it because what I like doesn't have to be what you like. You know what I mean? So I do like that the fact that they're catering for you. Now this 0.3 ohm coil, this is definitely my coil. Um, the other Z coil that they had, I want to say it was a 0.48, was another one that I really liked. I like this device more of a... Um, a direct lung or a restricted direct lung. Now, again, I do have it fully wide open and it's got, you know, flavor cloud. Direct lung. I'm going to go ahead and cut that down. So I've cut it down now halfway. Restricting it. A little bit more. Restricting it more, making it a little bit warmer. And now I'm going to close it to almost all the way closed. I can mouth to lung it. But I prefer this one because it does heat up the more that you close it down. Because of the fact that it is a 0.3 ohm resistant coil, it's going to heat up a lot faster than, say, a 0.8 ohm resistant coil or a 1 ohm resistance coil or 1.2 which by the way and it can does have all z coils and all the different they got the 0.48 they got the one they got the 1.2 i think the one they've got them all so you can check them out um whenever you get the extra coils they do come in packs like this so that you can actually get extra coils like that this is the 0.8 this is the 0.3 you can tell the difference between those you can also purchase an extra pod so say for instance you have this but you want to carry two flavors or you want to fake both coils you can actually purchase an additional pod um this is sold separately of course but it's it's available for you so you can have just one device with all these different options which i think is great shoot i have not found I haven't found any cons to it. I love the airflow reduction. Being able to dial it back and make it yours is so important as a vapor 
To keep you vaping, you need to have a device that works for you. Just because I like a device doesn't mean that it works for you. When you ask me if it, what's my favorite, it doesn't mean that it's going to be better for you. You really need to, to find out what you're looking for. Do you want a restrictive vape? Do you want a loose vape? Do you want a sub ohm tank? Do you want a pod mod? Do you want a mouth to lung pod mod? Or do you want a direct lung pod mod? These are things that you really need to think about when you're actually um, getting a device. Now for me, I think this would work for both. I really do. The way that they made these, I think it would work beautifully for both. For mouth to lung and for direct lung, I think that you would be happy. 3,000 milliamp hours, hello. That is amazing. I really, really love the fact that they give you 3,000 milliamp hours. Now, if you're vaping at mouth to lung or you're vaping it with the higher resistance coils, your battery is gonna last a lot longer, lot, well, it'll last longer, longer. It'll last a lot longer <laughs> than if you have the direct lung coil in here and you're vaping it at 30 to 40 watts. The battery, of course, is gonna be um, drained down a little bit faster in here, but it's still 3000 milliamp hours. So even if you're taking this to work and you're all, you know, when you're at work, you can't vape it all day. Well, I can't, you can only vape it on breaks or during lunch. So this would definitely last me all day, at least into the evening when I'm home and I can charge it. This one here with mouth to lung, I can literally vape this all day into the morning because of the fact that you're really not going past a maximum of 18 watts with the, with the mouth to lung coil. So I really think that that's great. Also, it's very, very light. They're now using that magnesium alloy, which is making it super light compared to other pod mods out there that have internal batteries. These are really, really light. I also like the fact that they're actually giving you this, you know, a you also have the option of having this, I forget what that's called, but you actually have the option of getting that type of design or you can get the leather. I personally like the leather a little bit better, but I do like the rubbery feel of this, so I'm really torn in between the two, but yeah. <laughs> Another pro is gonna be the menu. The menu is absolutely amazing. It's just, it's easy. It's wattage up, wattage down. You can clear your puff counter, which I know is important to a lot of you out there, which is just, it's it's simple. It's very, very simple. Now, I don't feel like you need to lock the wattage on this, being that you have to press and hold the up or the down in order to get into the wattage change function. So I, I don't think that that's you know, necessary, but do I like it? Yeah, I like to be secure that I'm not changing my wattage. So it doesn't bother me. It's just something that I don't feel like it was necessary for this. Biggest thing on this is gonna be the airflow options. The airflow options, because we already know the Z coils are just amazing. They're, the flavor on these coils is just, it's sub ohm flavor on these coils when you have it in the direct lung mode, it really is. Now, when you have it in the mouth to lung mode, it's not that it's bad flavor, it's very, very good flavor. But when it's mouth to lung, for me personally, I don't get as much flavor as I do when it's a little bit opened up more. But that's just my personal opinion. And that's in any type of device, to be honest with you. When it's really, really restrictive and you're going, <laughs> it just, it just, it's that way for me. Um, another thing is, is that um, with Anakin, if you register your device online for the warranty, they actually double the warranty now. So you'll get 180 days rather than 90 days warranty. And for them to do something like that, you got to know that they're, I, Anakin to me, I'm sorry, I've got an Anakin product that I've had here for six years. I can boot it up and it'll work perfectly. Their products are really, really, they last for a very, very long time. So I'm really happy with that. Again, flavor, you've got a 3000 milliamp hour internal battery. It's got two different types of coils. You do have all the other extras options uh, separately. So you can get a 510. If you want a 510 adapter to, so that you can fit other atomizers on here, that's gonna be fine because they do have one available. I don't have one to show you, but they do have that available separately. But I, I don't know, I like it just like this. I really, really do. I don't think that you need to take it any further than something like this. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for my for my review. I'm gonna leave the colors up here for you. It does come in six different colors. Um, let me know what your favorite color is and let me know your thoughts about this device. I really think that they hit it out of the park for the purpose of making this specifically for mouth to lung vapors and then adding some restrictive direct lung vapors, if you know what I mean. They've given you numerous airflow options with the ring, without the ring, just on the outside. I mean. Outside fill. I don't have to lift up my pod to fill it. Definite pro. My airflow adjustment on the outside. Definite pro. I've got all my wattage and other information right here. Definite pro. Three drip tips. Three. Not one, not two, but three drip tips. 
definite pro. You, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to find cons. I really am. I don't know what to say. I mean, a flavor on here, I'm telling you, it's, you need to try it. You just need to try it. That's all I'm going to say. So yeah, so that's pretty much it for my review. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the way out and the like button as well. Don't forget to share the video. If you know anybody who's looking to get into vaping or looking for something that is more like a pod mod, but a little bit more mouth to lung, don't forget to share the video. Um, help other vapors know what, what it's all about, I guess. <laughs> that's all I can say. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next one.